everyone. Thank you so much for coming back and joining us for this week's beverage taste test. So today we have for you two different flavors of the Swiss Miss Cafe blends. So this is a mix of hot chocolate and espresso. So if you'd like to hear more about this and see if you should pick it up, then please keep on watching. Just so you know, we do upload a daily video here on this channel. It can be a recipe, a taste test, a beverage. It really just depends on the day of the week. So make sure that you subscribe to our channel hit that notification bell, turn it on to all, so that way you are notified. So I found these at my local Smith's, and these regularly retail for $4.99, so a little bit pricey. You do get six envelopes. You kind of make it just like regular hot chocolate. So I made the mocha for Sean, and here I have the caramel macchiato. So these have half the caffeine of a, cap of a cup of coffee, um, they are naturally flavored, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, they do have 170 calories per one envelope, so I mean, it's a little high, uh, 32 grams of carbs and uh, 23 grams of sugar. So they're definitely not like super duper healthy, but I don't know, I don't go to Starbucks, but I'm imagining their drinks are pretty high in calories and carbs. I have no idea. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and try this, but yeah. So it's creamy caramel with roasted espresso for the caramel macchiato. And then he has a, it's a blend of dark chocolate and espresso. Oof. We're gonna trade cups and try each other's, but I hate dark chocolate and I don't like espresso. So let's try this out. Okay, so yeah, like I said, you just make it like regular hot chocolate. You ready? Very bitter. Very, very bitter. And yeah, this one's pretty bitter too. And I'm guessing mine's probably sweeter than yours with the caramel. It just tastes like dark chocolate. You won't like it. I won't. I taste the caramel with mine, but it's very, you can definitely taste the espresso with mine. What about yours? This time I can't even taste anything on that drink. Can you taste the espresso with yours? Or did you just taste, taste the dark chocolate? The first time, the first drink, I tasted dark chocolate. Now I don't taste anything. Okay, let's swap. We're gonna see about this. Oh, I really, really hate dark chocolate. I just, I can't do it. Yeah, you're right. Yours is very... Okay. I don't know. Mine seems stronger. The caramel seems stronger. Yeah. That is weird. See, all I taste is caramel in this one. I don't taste bitter at all. Yours, his taste, his taste kind of like... The, the mocha one kind of tastes like a watered-down coffee with like a slight, slight bit of like chocolate creamer. Okay. I'm gonna... Yeah, the caramel's stronger. Yeah, it just tastes like I don't... hot water. And I use the smaller cups, because we use larger cups for tea or whatever. So I did use the smaller, like, coffee cups. Um... It's almost like the more you drink it, the more your taste buds be like my like when I taste the caramel again, I can still taste the espresso, but it's not as strong. Maybe it was just a little jarring at first. That could be. Okay, let's go ahead and rate it. Okay. So um for ease for like preparation or whatever, I would give this a five out of five. It's really easy. You just add hot water, right? Um, it's just like making a regular pack of hot chocolate. So five out of five for making it. But let's go to flavor or taste. Um, what do you think out of five? For which one? For both? For both. I'd say three. That's not good. It's not bad. Just kind of there. Basic. Yeah. Um, I am going to give this a two. Um, which I guess really isn't fair. I'm not an espresso lover. Um, when you first 
start drinking it, it's pretty strong, but the more you drink it, it just kind of, kind of goes away. Yeah. Like the after, like my t mouth right now is very bitter. Yeah, I don't taste anything at all. I mean, like even just like after like drinking it and your mouth is kind of just sitting. Nothing. Yeah, my mouth is tasting bitter right now. I think it's just from the espresso, so. Well, that, that's another thing to keep in mind is you use sugar creamer in your coffee. I drink my coffee black. So to me, coffee's supposed to be bitter. Yeah. But it doesn't taste like coffee. So, I mean, I think it's a really cool idea. Um, if you want more of like a cafe style or more like a coffee house style drink, then yeah, I think the Swiss Mrs. Cafe Blends is probably a good idea. Let me tell you, I'm super glad I only spent 99 cents on them. They're okay. Um, I honestly don't know if I'm gonna get any use out of them. No, I'd rather drink something I can taste if I'm gonna drink something. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I might take these to work and see if people would like them at work, but I don't think I'll finish these. So they're, they're okay, they're okay. So, so we haven't tried any drink that we really, really love yet. No, but I'd so, say this is the first one I didn't hate. It's the first one you didn't give like a two or a two yeah, and a half. that's what I say, that's why it's a three. So, but anyway, um, yeah, Swiss Miss Cafe Blends for the mocha and the caramel macchiato, they're okay. Okay, nothing great, nothing out of this world. They're okay. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this week's beverage taste test. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it. Leave a comment down below. Do you like do you like any kind of specialty specialty drink from like Starbucks or your local coffee house? Let us know down below in the comments. And don't forget, you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all at budget plan, babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly, or you can always click on one of the ones that'll be popping up around the screen. So yeah, see you here in just a sec.